Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at MENA protocol. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And obviously, MENA did start pumping like crazy yesterday, and we saw a massive candle of around about 110%. So I do own some Mina, full disclosure. We did swing trade this as well on my Patreon, and we're going to be waiting for a buy order to fill uh, in the next few days, hopefully. But uh, our average buying price was around about 54 cents. We were buying down here as well at 36 cents on my Patreon. So if you want to see what I'm buying and when I'm buying all the coins that I have in my portfolio right now, feel free to check out the Patreon. But after such a massive, massive pump, you know, on a daily chart, if you print a 100% candle, that's massive. You're going to be looking for a retracement, and hopefully the entry point that we're going to be looking for here is around about 56 to 55 cents at the 0 0.382 FIB. Now, why did we choose that FIB level? Because that's our support below the 0 0.5. I do think we're going to be dropping below the 0 0.5. And I think we're going to be retesting the 0.382 level. Now, the FIB is set up from the low that we printed in October this year and all the way up to the high that we printed back in February this year. And we retested the 0.786 FIB. We went to 96 cents. That was a massive, massive area for you to take some profits if you did have this fib up and you took some profits maybe at 76 cents at 90 cents at 80 cents who knows but we're going to be looking for a nice retracement from where we are right now down to 56 almost 50, 57 cents that's a 23 percent pullback i think that's a justifiable percentage for a pullback i think that is a healthy pullback as long as we don't drop back down below 47 cents we're going to be we're going to be good so don't worry about a pullback here if you don't have any coins right now and you're looking to enter obviously this right here is the worst time to be buying because you're just gonna sit through a pullback if we get a flash crash we get bearish news we might go even deeper so you don't want to be sitting at a 40 percent pullback at the start of a bull market so you want to be entering when we're you know looking at something like this this is where you want to be entering or this is where you want to be entering obviously in hindsight it's easy to say that this is where you should have been investing but usually when you have sideways channels usually when it's boring the price is dumping that's when you should be buying so that's the way i'm doing it with all of my altcoins so wait for a pullback you can start entering at 66 cents if you really want to enter at that price but you can wait until we retest the 0.382 at the very least and from there you can continue dollar cost averaging as we go lower if we indeed go lower you can see that this green block is a massive support level we retested it a few times in 2022 and then we lost it briefly at the end of 2022 we saw a massive pump in january of course and then we retested this level over here once again at 58 cents then we dropped back down to it in may 2023 and then we dumped once again so what i want to do right now is i want to hold this green support block as support i want to stick in that block i want to consolidate in that block hopefully and then we can print our next leg up so that's it for the daily chart the 20 ema is pretty much going vertical at this point so if we do indeed come back down really quickly, which is possible, we could retest the 20 EMA. So keep an eye on the 20 EMA. If you want to be safe, set up some buy limit orders at around about 47 cents. That's going to be a that's going to be a great area to enter as well. That's the 0 0.236 fib. Now let's switch over to the weekly chart. And before we continue with the video, I quickly want to mention my Patreon that's linked down below in the description. If you enjoy my content, you want to get more exclusive content, and you want to support me at the same time, definitely feel free to check out the Patreon because you're going to get a 7-day 
free access on my Patreon and an instant access to all of my content uh, since October 2021, which is when I started. You'll get access to content like exclusive weekly podcasts, and we're starting to invite guests already. We have 40 plus low cap gem posts. We have a bunch of project uh, reviews. We have a bunch of resources that are going to help you save time and make more money with this upcoming bull market. So this is definitely a great exchange of value for the both of us. And once again, there's a seven day free trial. Feel free to check it out. You can leave any time and let's continue with the video. Okay, taking a look at the weekly chart, we have a Fibonacci retracement, which is pretty similar to the one that we had uh, just on the previous chart. And you can see that we were in this falling wedge here. We created the low in June 2023, and then we created the pattern in July 2023. So 51 cents was our technical target, but obviously we did a 2x from that 51 cents price. And you are slightly above the 55 EMA. I do think a retest of the 20 EMA is going to be coming in the next few weeks. So feel free to eyeball that EMA and enter off of the 20 EMA because this is just massive. Look at this candle here and this look at this RSI move to the upside. Usually when that happens, as you can see, like we did see a massive move in January 2023, we are going to be looking at a pullback afterwards. And Mina didn't really have a proper bull market. As you can see, they got listed or they got launched back in May 2021 at the worst possible time when we entered that dump. They had a bit of a retracement into November, so we peaked at around about $5.87. So if we're really going to be looking at some nice targets to the upside, I think we're going to be, we're definitely going to be breaking above the previous all-time high. That's without a shadow of a doubt. If we're going to be taking $5.42 as the all-time high, and we're going to be looking at $11.35. That's going to be our minimal target. So that doesn't mean that you have to sell your entire bag at that exact price. You can be smart and you can start uh, averaging out at $8, $9, $10, and then take some profits at $11, $11.50 as well. Then we have $16.68, which is slightly more bullish. And then we have $29, which some would say is not really possible. But we'll see how things go. Mina is a pretty unique project with their with their smallest blockchain in the world. So we'll see how well they do during the bull market. For now, I'm bullish. Do your own research, obviously. This is not financial advice. Now, taking a look at the stochastic on the weekly, you can see we were down here for quite a long time. Since May 2023, we did see a bit of a rally here into August 2023, but then we landed back into the over uh, bought or sorry, oversold, and you had a, a good amount of time to dollar cost average into Mina. So if you haven't been buying, then you know. Just wait. You have to wait more. If you get a chance to get in, that's great. If not, you learned your mistake and you'll be buying in when projects are consolidating or dropping. You definitely do not want to be buying in right now. That's a such a rookie mistake to make. So please don't buy in at these current levels. Not a financial advice, of course. So let me know if you have any MENA protocol. Let me know what is your average buying price. Let me know what are your bull market targets. Thank you all for watching this video and stay safe.